Recently, the insurance institutes released a staggering statistic. Currently, total loss claims account for around 24% of all reported losses, but account for around 41% of claims payouts. To make that worse, it's the number one complaint for an insurer. As the cost and complexity of collision repair increases, it is leading to more totaled vehicles. As the availability of employees decreases, it is increasing claims cycle times. In total loss claims, that means a lot more additional handling and storage fees. Trust me when I tell you that nothing makes a VP of claims more frustrated than decreased salvage returns due to higher disposition expenses. They turn this special color of red. <laughs> it's not pretty. Sometimes funny, but it's definitely not pretty. <laughs> anyway, if 2021 brought one thing to the collision repair industry, it was the awareness of the total loss vehicles and their role in the shop's overall financial health. To insurers, it brought sheer panic. Suddenly things like replevin and salvage abandonment were hotter than they had been in the last 30 years. In addition, insurers for the first time were actually threatening shops with repair instead of totaling the vehicle in just an attempt to avoid the fees. Add to it that many states saw policies interactivation that included limitations on storage expenses specifically aimed at total loss claims. Gee, it's like five years ago they knew this was going to happen and planned for it. Weird. Hmm. Okay, the bad news. Total losses will continue to rise. Are you ready? While many believe a total vehicle is a loss of revenue, it in fact can be a great source of much needed cash flow. Currently, the average total loss generates $2,400 in charges. Recently, Mike Anderson of CollisionAdvice.com released the latest results from his Who Pays For What industry survey. And total loss expenses were a major focus of the study. In 2021, 72% of shops said they were always paid or most of the time when they billed an insurer for total loss administrative fees. To give that some context, when the survey began in 2015, only 46% of shops said they were regularly paid for administrative fees. Shops are starting to catch on and get better about compensation for their time, labor, all those parking spaces. But the proven opportunities are even greater. In addition to the administrative fees, 74% of shops responded that they are also itemizing and expenses for operations around total losses and collecting those fees as well. It's easy to see how the average invoice is reaching $2,400. Now, if it was just about writing up an invoice, I wouldn't be making this video. Remember when I talked about replevin, salvage abandonment, and policy limitations? Well, there's a plan for those things as well. That's why we've put together the industry's only bundle of online training resources directly targeted at total losses. Right now, we have our total loss and documentation class that teaches you the what, why, and how of handling a total loss and keeping your records. Learn the laws, potential pitfalls, contract requirements, and strategies for not only handling the customer, but the insurer as well then we know that communicating and documenting that communication, well, it's not as easy as we make it out to be in the class. So we sat down with our in-house claims team and created form communication templates that you can use to make sure everyone on your team is saying the right things each and every time. Now, we're all claims managers, not lawyers. So we recommend you schedule an appointment with your business attorney to discuss the issues around total loss claims your customer contract, and the communication package. That way, any tweaks or changes can be made to ensure compliance with your state laws and regulations. If you don't have your own customer contracts and forms, we have a class for that as well, and it provides you with a copy of all of our forms. This will save you time and money working with your local attorney. This year, make sure total losses are something that you look forward to at your shop.